All right, I'm pretty excited. My um, plum paper planner came today, so I'm going to kind of give you a walk through. Um, I ordered this one. They come in a bazillion different designs. You can put monograms, change your name. If I wanted uppercase, I could if that bothered me, but um, I kind of like the way this looked. Um, it looks a little pink, but um, once you open it up, it is that kind of a coral and turquoise color. And mine goes over two years, so it's 2015 to 2016, but if it's just a one-year planner, a lot of people go January to January. They'll do that too. Um, I'm starting it in July. I'm a teacher, and so that really is what works best for my schedule. I started in July, and I added a month for $2, um, and I also added a to-do list in the back of every month. And um, when you do these, they have all these different add-ons. You can, all kinds of blogging organization, things like that, and they're really cheap, and you can just add them in until you've just run out of room if you need to, but um, just really great way to kind of plan your whole life. I have a bunch of different to-do lists now, so I'm hoping that this will help me um, make that a little bit more simpler. Um, the one thing that's kind of unexpected, I know that it, it does say on the um, website how big it is, but just to let you know, I thought it would be the size of a notebook paper. Um, it's a little bit smaller, but I actually am excited about that because I was thinking that's a little large. So this is a regular notepad right here. And this is the plum paper planner, just to give you an idea of what um, the size is. So then, I'm just going to kind of walk you through really quickly. Um, once you open up, they, both the back and the front have this um, film cover to kind of help protect it. They have these great, kind of um, almost feels like plastic coated or else really thick, um, maybe not plastic coated, but really thick um, binder um, rings. There's a introductory page where you can put your information if you lose it. Um, because mine goes over two years, I do have uh, the, both the 2015 and the 2016 calendar here at the beginning. And then each month um, starts off and it has um, a pretty thick um, tab section um, and a little bit thicker than cardstock. Each page is really heavy. It's nice. Um, there's a note page at the beginning of each one and then a month view. Uh, I love this feature. It's the birthdays. And um, so that's going to really help me out as far as getting my cards and gifts ready at the beginning of each month. Um, so it's not like, oh my gosh, when the week comes and I say there's a birthday. Also events and then kind of a general note section there. And then you have the week by week and um, it has a weekly checklist and a note section again for each week. And then you can, this is really where you can do a lot of customizing. Um, right here is, um, I went ahead and I did the columns going down. You can also do them going the months or rather days of the week. You could do them going down and across, but I liked them in this column section. And so I personalized it. Like you put your family member's name. Um, we'll see how this works. I put schedule errands to do, which I left a blank for underneath because I generally have a lot of to do, at least in my head. I think I do chores, meals, and fitness. So I'm hoping if it's there, I'll do it. Um, and then, so each week is like that. You see at the beginning of each month, if the month doesn't start on a Monday, um, it's kind of doled out and then it starts right here. So you can choose what to do with that. But I, I really like that. So then you go through and it's just week by week looks like that. And then at the back of each section, this is what I added because I am the to-do list queen, um, especially in the summer. Um, I like to make big to-do lists and I can do kind of a section title. Um, and then another notes page, which is awesome because... I sure do like notes, and I'm kind of hoping to use this more like, almost like a diary slash scrapbook, um, just to kind of remember my year by, because I'm just, again, overwhelmed by keeping diaries and stuff these days. Um, I used to be really good about it. Um, so then you go, um, this is the month I added, July, just like I said, because as a teacher, I wanted to go July to July, um, but I wanted to get started this July instead of going August to July this year. Um, there's another special date section in the very back, and a passwords page. A contacts page, which is great, um, both of which I can use handy. A holidays, 2015, 16, 17, so it looks like three years. And then a 2017 calendar. And then right here is um, little pockets for keeping stuff. So I've ordered a bunch of stickers and things that should be coming soon. Um, so uh, once I get those, I'll get, I'll get going. I have a, a little while to get started. But in the meantime, I love creating stuff like this on the computer, so I kind of went and looked at some different things. So I created this little printable page, and um, I will put the link below, but you can do it through my website, uh, www.christyrobbins.blogspot.com. And then I printed them on cardstock, and I'll show you how these are going to work. Um, like here's a to-do list, and I thought it would be kind of fun. You could go down. I made it the width of the column, about an inch and a half, or you could even cover this up and do something fun. Um, so I made these little to-do lists with the check boxes that you could add. Just add some tape to the back. I made these little um, clipboards in all different colors. 
and I'm just like I said double sided tape and then this one I definitely need um, I'm really horrible about drinking water but really good about to-do lists so I'm thinking maybe if I have a checklist daily I'll be able to do that so um, like I said I'll put the links below and then um, I'll get started and let you know how it goes um, hopefully this will be a win for me